A battle of two winless teams, the Delville Warhawks and the Geneva Panthers, both 0-7. What happens when two hungry teams try to go out for their first win? Jamel, you got to let us know who won, the, uh, won this game tonight. Yeah, Bree, well, it was the Goose Egg Bowl as the 0-8 Geneva uh, Panthers came to Delville to face the 0-7 Delville Warhawks. Both teams have struggled to get a win all season, but tonight somebody has got to come out with a win. Here's all those highlights. After seven straight losses, the Warhawks run out of their banner once again to try and get in the win column. Delville would get the ball first in good field position after the kickoff goes out of bounds. They try to run the ball here, but is diagnosed quick, bringing up fourth down. Geneva with their shot at it now. Dalton Mock will get it on a directional snap, and he takes it through the hole in the defense, picking up over 50 yards, flipping field position just like that. On his last run, Mock didn't have enough gas to get into the end zone, but fear not, as this time he gets some help from his teammates as they push him through for six. Delville now receives the kickoff, but it's muffed. Luckily, they fall back on it. Delville tries to get their run game going, but they'll be met in the hole by CJ Minifield for a loss on the play. Next is the first pass for either team as Delville sends it right side to Mark Romero, who tries to fight for a first down, but comes up short. Panthers with it again. They give it to JJ King, who bites off a pretty good run. However, a block in the back would negate that play. Panthers could have been on the move. Warhawks with it again, trying to get their first points. A pitch and catch that was fumbled but recovered would net them a big play and get them close to scoring. Good recovery by Javion McLeod. That would set up this scoring play for Daleville as quarterback Ruben Garcia stretches it out for six after a nice run beating defenders off the edge. Warhawks band trying to will their team to a victory. Geneva with it again as it's Mock once more with the ball left side spinning off defenders and finally taken down but not before getting the first. Geneva threatening to score as it's Mock again with the carry who just piles his way through defenders as he pushed Geneva out in front again 14-7. Daleville tries to send one deep right before half and it's almost caught if it wasn't for some staunch defense by again Dalton Mock. Panthers have been in close games before and Coach Harris knows they have to finish strong. We got to learn how to finish and take care of the ball and, and defense going to be really Real key about uh, making good solid tackles and holding on, don't let them um, get loose on us. Now the Warhawks come back at halftime 21 to 14 and win this game. I'm here with Coach Maurice Freeman. Coach, how you doing today? Man, I'm tired. I am <laughs> exhausted. This is one hell of a game. Yes, sir. <laughs> and it's been a long season. You are used to winning. Um, how does it feel to get this first win here with your new program? Oh, it's, 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 it's almost like a state title. I mean, it's a long time coming. 0-7, a uh, guy that's got over 260 wins in the state of Georgia. So, it, you know, it, it's, 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 it's tough, man. It's tough. And, you you know, really trying to build a foundation for a school that hasn't been winning and just trying to get them to believe in what you what you uh, uh, think will work for the program. And, and finally tonight, maybe, but we try to give it away, maybe they're starting to believe some of the things that we're preaching. For sure. And coming into the season, there were some high expectations. You yourself, were you thinking, hey, I think I could turn this team around in one year? Or were you thinking more so, hey, Rome wasn't built in a day. This Delville team isn't going to be built in a day either. From what I saw, I thought that we could be a fourth place team in the playoffs. I really thought we could get in there, eke in there. And, and that was the goal. Um, you know, and we've played some very talented teams and, and played a great half or a great three quarters. And then the storm came and then we just fell apart and then we just turned into the old Daleville. So we have to get them out of that old Daleville mindset. And, and some of it showed up tonight, man. Uh, you know, we seven zero at halftime and uh, then seven, seven, next thing you know, 14, seven. Uh, and then we score 14 straight points. Uh, but right there at the end, we do something stupid. Uh, we get a penalty on a touchdown and now we got to kick the ball from the 25. And then, uh, then we got a punt right there with 30 seconds left, and we shanked one. And, uh, man, we, we've got to, got to bow our backs and try to pull off a win, and, and thank goodness we did. But, but they were the ball hit us twice. We should have intercepted and ended the game. Yeah. But the ball hits the ground, and they get another try. And, and man, that's breathtaking. Those are things that are tough. You can't yeah. do that. you got to make those plays. Yeah, exactly. But, Coach, you guys got your first win tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. Congrats or congr uh, sorry, congrats on your first win. And then, you know, for the rest of the season, good luck. Thank we'll you. send it back to you guys at the studio. Bring the helmet.